John comments, May 18, 2018 The Department of Justice will continue to play an outsized role in healthcare antitrust enforcement, a federal prosecutor said this week. In a keynote address at the American Bar Association's Antitrust and Healthcare Conference on Thursday, Deputy Assistant Attorney General Barry Nigro said DOJ will rigorously prosecute Medicare fraudsters and price gouging by drug makers, and continue to cast a skeptical eye toward mergers, potential collusion among health systems and payers. Competition in healthcare means being able to afford life-saving surgery, or critical medicines, or an infant's first checkup, Nigro said. It's important. That's why few, if any, segments of our economy merit higher priority when it comes to antitrust enforcement. Because competition benefits consumers in so many ways, antitrust enforcement will continue to play an outsized role in healthcare. Competition keeps healthcare costs down, which broadens access to healthcare products and services, he said. Nigro's lengthy speech covered no new ground, but reaffirmed DOJ Antitrust Division civil and criminal policy and actions against fraud, and anti-competitive practices. On criminal prosecutions, criminal violations are pernicious antitrust offenses. Price-fixing and naked market allocation agreements are effectively agreements to steal from consumers, whether in the form of higher prices, lower quality, or fewer choices, and have no pro-competitive justification. On generic drug regulations, in recent years, there have been large price spikes for certain generic drugs, and the division's investigation into this market has revealed that some corporations and executives have sought to enrich themselves at the expense of consumers who rely on these critical medications. It is hard to imagine a more brazen antitrust crime than colluding to take money out of the pockets of seniors and others whose health depends on prescription drugs, on market allocation and no poach agreements. We believe it is important that we use our criminal enforcement authority to police these markets and to promote competition for all Americans seeking the benefits of a competitive healthcare marketplace on exemptions and immunities from the antitrust laws. Exemptions and immunities should be limited. Often, when an industry is bestowed with an exemption or immunity, competition is displaced, or cabined, by government regulation. The division is skeptical of any claim that government regulation prevents competitors from exercising market power or that consumers do not benefit from the forces of competition to protect their interests. 